Hello everyone. This is Stephen Kelly from the Century College Center for Educational Technology. Today, you will be viewing the first of four video tutorials that demonstrate how to set up a gradebook in Desire to Learn. If you are a student, this video may not interest you, but if you are a faculty member, keep watching. These videos are created to help you set up your D2L course. Are you ready? Here we go! Here I am in the D2L environment on a course home page. I'll begin by clicking on Grades in the nav bar. On the Grades page, on the left hand side, is the Grades Area box. In the Grades Area box, we have five options. Enter Grades, Manage Grades, Grade Settings, Grade Schemes, and Setup Wizard. We'll do the Setup Wizard. On the Grades Setup Wizard page, we have displayed a summary of the current settings in the Grades Setup Wizard. I will click Start. In Step 1 of 7 of the Grade Setup Wizard, we're asked to choose a grading system. I have chosen the Point System. The Point System is a system that the majority of Century College instructors choose because it's easy for both instructors and students to follow. Other options are the Weighted System, where particular percentages are ascribed to grade items, or the Formula System, where you can create your own custom system. In step 2 of 7, we are asked to choose a final grade released. The default setting is Adjusted Final Grade. I will choose Calculated Final Grade. Think of these two options as automated versus manual. By choosing Calculated Final Grade, we are telling D2L that we would like students to see their overall score for the course based strictly on the points we have entered for their assignments. In other words, we want D2L to automate everything. Were we to choose Adjusted Final Grade, then we would have to manually enter and update a student's final score every time we updated a grade item. This is time intensive and creates a lot of extra work for the instructor. In a later video, we will learn how to adjust a student's score in the final week of the semester while maintaining our automated calculations. In Step 3 of 7, we're asked to choose Grade Calculations. Under Ungraded Items, our options are Drop Ungraded Items or Treat Ungraded Items as Zero. I will choose Drop Ungraded Items. If I were to choose Treat Ungraded Items as Zero, then D2L would enter in a zero for all ungraded items, including those items that a student has not yet had a chance to complete. Naturally, this can confuse a student when they are trying to monitor their progress through a course. By choosing Drop Ungraded Items, I am telling D2L to provide a student an accurate and current result of how they are performing in the course. I will also choose to have D2L automatically keep final grades updated. In Step 4 of 7, I am asked to choose Default Grade Schemes. My options are a Percentage Scheme, an A through F plus minus scheme, or a custom scheme. I will choose a percentage scheme because percentages are easy to understand. In step 5 through 7, we're asked to choose Managing View Display Options. Here we have decimals displayed. The default setting is to show two decimals. I'll keep two decimals because two decimals are simple and easy to understand. In step 6 of 7, we're asked to choose Submission View Display Options. This might also be known as Student View Options. Under Grade Details, we have Points Grade selected, so students may see the points grade. We're also going to choose Grade Scheme Symbol, so that students see the percentages we chose two steps ago. In Decimals Displayed, we'll choose 2 because it's simple and easy to understand, and in Characters Displayed for Text Items, we'll keep the default of 15. Under Final Grade Calculation, we will not check Display Final Grade Calculation to users because we'll deal with that in a later video. In Step 7 of 7, we have displayed a summary of the settings we have chosen in the Grade Setup Wizard. I will now click Finish. This concludes the first video in our series of videos on how to set up the Gradebook in Desire to Learn.